Like and subscribe now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. Reproduction is a normal process of life, and there should be nothing weird about it, even if it's the male getting pregnant. In the animal kingdom, there's really nothing to do except eat and reproduce. While mammals usually give birth directly, many others lay eggs. From animals' first thoughts to be serial infant killers to the creature whose eggs change colors, let's look at some weird ways animals lay eggs. Number 10, the seahorse. There aren't a lot of very involved dads in the animal kingdom, but there are a few exceptions, most notably the humble seahorse. Male seahorses don't only produce the sperm needed for fertilization, they are actually the ones who get pregnant. Yes, you heard that right. The female transfers her eggs to the male's abdomen pouch, made of modified skin. The male releases sperm to fertilize the eggs. The male seahorse incubates them for 24 days until they're born. The male's abdominal pouch is a wonder of nature that performs a whole lot of tasks. Aside from keeping the babies safe, the pouch actually provides the baby seahorses with everything that they need to develop, including a supply of energy-rich fats and calcium that allows the embryos to build their tiny skeletons and bony body rings that sit just under their skin. The pouch can even remove the waste that the embryos produce, such as carbon dioxide and nitrogen, keeping conditions inside the pouch ideal for a growing seahorse. Number 9. Frogs. Many amphibians, such as frogs and toads, who are able to breathe on both land and water are known for their peculiar eggs. When we hear the word egg, we often think of a hard shell protecting the offspring that is developing inside. However, amphibian eggs are a bit different than you would imagine. Their eggs do not have a hard shell, but instead are laid in a group and have a jelly-like texture. A common toad, for example, can lay masses from 3,000 to 6,000 eggs at a time. They lay their vulnerable vulnerable eggs in a tiny shallow pool of water in puddles, in water trapped in tree branches, or captured between leaves. Interestingly, the poison dart frog is known to carry their newly hatched tadpoles on their backs, giving the young frogs a piggyback ride from the trees to water sources on the ground. Number 8. Snakes As we commonly know, most oviparous animals lay eggs that protect the eggs until the offspring are developed enough to come out. However, surprisingly, some animals do not lay their eggs, even if the baby is ready to hatch. The garter snake is one such animal that retains the eggshell inside the mother's body rather than laying it. Such animals are known as oviparous animals. The hatchlings remain inside the body of the carrier and continue to grow there. These babies do not receive any food or oxygen from their mother during this time, like most animals do. When the little ones are mature enough, they are laid by the mother. By the time they come out, they are already strong enough to fend for themselves, instead of being essentially helpless if born from eggs outside of the mother. Number 7. Shishilids When it comes to reproduction, it usually takes two to tango, even in the animal kingdom, but with a few notable exceptions. Finding dads involved in raising their young animals is quite rare. In the case of the shishalids, which are a type of fish, daddies may even happily gobble up their young as soon as they are hatched. This has led to mother shishalids coming up with an ingenious way of protecting their eggs and hatchlings, and that's by turning their mouths into a makeshift incubator and nursery. She first lays unfertilized eggs in a nest, waiting for a male to swoop in and fertilize them. As soon as they are fertilized, she will then scoop them up into her mouth keeping them there until they hatch. It takes up to two weeks for up to 30 eggs to hatch, but even after that, she will continue to keep the hatchlings in her mouth for up to two more weeks, just occasionally letting them out to feed them. The mother, meanwhile, doesn't eat during all that time. This is definitely mother's love taken up a notch. Number 6. Suriname Toad the Suriname toad is a rather curious amphibian. It has unique body features, as you can see, and an even more unique mode of reproduction. It all begins when the male and the female counterparts engage in a swim and do a little dancing, sort of mating ritual during which the female releases eggs, which the male fertilizes. The male toad then carefully places the eggs on the female's back, and they sink through her skin and become embedded within her skin. An odd -looking looking structure resembling a honeycomb develops, which has a chamber for each egg. And the eggs hatch inside these chambers, and the young toads grow in there. Eventually, when they are ready enough, the young toads burst out of their mother's back, arriving in the world. Number 5. Centipede 
We're sure nobody of y'all would like to have a centipede in your house. They have just too many legs and are icky. But unfortunately, all of us would inevitably find one or more of these little guys in our houses at least once in our life. Thankfully, we don't see them giving birth unless you're watching this video. So enjoy it before we get to the gross egg laying stuff. You won't see centipedes mating because the males actually spin webs and deposit their sperm in them while the females go around and find those webs to fertilize their eggs. You won't even see the eggs ever because they are deposited in the soil and the females are curled up around them and protect them. The baby centipedes hatch with very few legs and burst out of the wall of dirt. Number 4. Australian Spider Wasp how the wasp reproduces is absolutely gruesome and, at the same time, disturbingly familiar. You see, this insect got its name from hunting and killing huntsman spiders, but not to make it into a meal, but rather to turn it into an incubator and first meal for its babies. The egg-laying ritual will always start with a hunt with the mother wasp finding and looking for a live huntsman spider. A deadly battle will then ensue, often with the wasp being the victor. The wasp then stings and paralyzes the spider before dragging it into the mud nest. Inside the nest, the wasp will lay a single egg inside the still living spider's abdomen. The effect of the sting will eventually wear off, leaving the spider to go about its way seemingly unharmed. That is, until the wasp's egg hatches. This is where it gets disturbing. When it does hatch, the wasp larva will eat the spider from the inside out. It's not a fast death as well, as the larva wants the spider to live a bit longer and keep it as fresh as possible. So the tiny killer will eat the vital organs last. If the process sounds familiar, that is because that's nearly exactly how the alien species xenomorphs reproduce. Number 3. Chameleon when a chameleon lays its eggs, the eggs actually start changing color to blend in with the nest. Isn't that interesting? Like many species, the chameleon also starts to dig a hole to prepare for the impending arrival of the eggs. And the hole is almost 4 to 12 inches deep. Then the chameleon deposits around 2 to 200 eggs into the hole, depending on the species. You get a baby chameleon ready to go into the outside world 4 to 12 months later. But some rare species take more time, just like the Parsons chameleon takes over 12 months to hatch. There is a two-year waiting period for one chameleon. Number two, lovebird. You might think we're about to make an inappropriate joke about how lovebirds are constantly pregnant, but self-restraint is a good thing to observe, you know? So the female lovebird generally tends to lay three to seven eggs every other day. When they have all been laid, the hen will incubate her eggs for around 23 days, and by the end of the process, you will have a whole whole new bunch of lovebirds. If the lovebirds feel threatened, they completely destroy the nest and the eggs and make the entire process null and void. Likewise, if they have babies and are undergoing some stress or confusion, the hens are known to kill their babies just for some peace. Number 1. Crocodiles We all know that the gender of a human baby cannot be predetermined. Whether it will be male or female or any other gender is based on chance. However, this is not true for all animals. Like all reptiles, Crocodiles are amphibians who lay their eggs on the ground rather than in the water. They make their nests close to riverbanks, and the mother usually stays behind to protect their offspring. However, the interesting fact is that the gender of the hatchlings depends on the location of the nest. When temperatures are higher than 34 degrees centigrade, androgenetic hormones are formed inside the eggs, resulting in a male baby. However, these hormones do not form in lower temperatures, and the offspring is born as a female. Therefore, the nest under the bright sun would produce males male crocodiles, while wow, ones under shade, are likely to hatch female. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Which animal do you think lays eggs in the most interesting way? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. See you in the next one.